What's happening campers? This is episode one of our new series where we're going to be taking on the journey of us converting a van that we've never actually converted before. It's probably the most popular, most common camper van out there. It is of course the VW Transporter. Now we're going to be putting our own camper camper spin on it and today we're going to go look for a van, see if we can get one at the right price, get it back in the workshop, start the planning stages and we'll get the ball rolling. Stick around, let's see what we find. So what's the plan here then mate? Just gonna find the find the fucking van for ourselves, aren't we? Uh, they're quite expensive to be fair. Do you have a sort of a price in mind or well just as cheap as possible really? <laughs> like I say cheap as possible, obviously I wanna buy a decent one, so twenty five to thirty five I think we're looking. I think the price range that we're looking at, they are gonna be pretty good Nick. I'm not expecting many problems on, on the, that side of things to be fair. I've got a couple on shortlist here, like just over thirty plus VAT. Automatic, 11,000 miles on the clock, 2023, one owner. We have bought off his ones before, I think it was Marvin Chris, the fella who we dealt with. You've got two or three Sands Porters there, around about 30, 20, between 25 and 30k. I just want to come down and have a look at them. The one, 2023, single cab, short wheelbase, 19,000 miles, 19,184. Damn it! Right, we're going to speak. VW approved used dealership and speak, yeah. So we've got a couple of a couple of vans there that we've seen. Uh, just drive away with it today, like. Yeah, and hopefully like workshops are a little bit quiet at the minute, so the sooner we can get it the better really. You might be driving it home because I'll have to drive this. <laughs> <laughs> Converters like us, where they take an empty van and they convert it, and a lot of the time you get like the, the carpet line type interior with like the lightweight ply and knocking trim and all that, which again is sound, it's just a different style. And what we want to do is try and do something a little bit different again. What that is, yeah, I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, we we'll do something good with it. So yeah. what is it that you're going to be specifically looking out for whilst you're here? Obviously we're going to be looking at automatics, we're going to be looking at manuals, aircon and stuff. I know that's important for, for a lot of people. I mean, little things like that, little small features, the um, sound system, Apple CarPlay and all that, because these bigger vans have started scaling back on the on the spec of them. During COVID, when you're trying to make loads, loads of vans, they started sort of cutting back on, on, the, on the spec. So just making sure all, all that's in the van as well be something I'll make sure, find it. <laughs> so what's the difference between a short wheel base and a long wheel base? I don't base? know the exact dimension, but obviously yeah, it's just the long wheel base is slightly longer, so you get a little bit more space to work with in the van. Probably reuse that. That's the thing, you rock and roll bed, we'll get you to a bar here. Wouldn't we use that because we'd be putting a pop top on, wouldn't we? The rock and roll bed down below. Pop top above. Probably put an awning rail on as well so they can attach an awning room. You know, like a tent that attaches to the to the side of the van so just to create an extra extra bit of space outside if it's raining. You can obviously get the wind out ones, but I think with this size of van, an awning rail's fine. It's got the aircon. Uh, tell us a little bit about the vans then mate. So Highline tends to be the one if you're going to go camper wise is where everybody goes. Um, that's the most popular colour in California by yeah. a long shot. Yeah. Highline you've got parking sensors front and rear. Some of them come with the camera, some of them come with heated seats as well. Right, you've got exactly. a heated windscreen on it, you've got um, radar guided cruise control. 
all, all as a standard, but they, they all come with it um, at Connect on the head units as well, yeah. as a standard, even on the start lines. As far as campers go, very few people do long wheelbases, and very few people seem to want them. Yeah. Yeah. Bad day, they? yeah. Even though it is that extra little bit. Or is that just your sales pitch to get me to buy the show? No, no. <laughs> I, I always, I've, I've been here 18 months. I used to wonder why everybody only went to the shorts. Yeah, yeah. It might be part of because when people do take them to camper companies, all the CNC cuts are all for um, shorties, mm. aren't they? They're not for longs. Dad. And how much is that one? 26991. 26991. And the mileage is what, 19 was it? 11. 11. 11 too. Nice. 26991 plus VAT. Nice, like in it. Saying even on the way in, I absolutely love this this colour. Black just, detail, so black door mirrors. It's quite a big pillar. Because yeah, yeah. you tend to black out the whole of this bit here. Yeah, yeah. You black that out, and you just got a long line. Because yeah, they yeah. do it on the on the sport pack Cali. Because the, there's an Ascot grey one over there with the sport pack on it, and yeah. that has that black, and it makes a massive difference yeah, yeah. as far as look is concerned. Should we have a look, look at that one as well? Yeah. It's it is on film. I've yeah, had, yeah. I've had it done on my T4. I've had that wrapped, and on obviously the T4 that's exposed. So you're looking at like replicating this kind of build. Sort oh. of. We'll put a bed in it, and we'll put a kitchen in it, and all that. But we sort of got our own our own style. So we're trying to make put our own spin on it. Mm. These doors here. Good. Yeah. So, Good like in it. Unless you sat there. <laughs> <laughs> Just little things like that, yeah. which is a cracking idea because again, it's just space efficiency. A mirror on the inside of that because you're going to carry a mirror with you, yeah. but putting it on there makes a big difference. Yeah. And it's just it's the small little details like that, doesn't it make all the difference? Yeah, yeah I think we I think we'll go with a outdoor shower, and outdoor barbecue points as well. Like what you're saying there, they're just easy to like plug yeah. in straight into the thing. Rather you save than so much space rather than carrying a gas bottle around. Yeah, yeah. have a, a portable barbecue so much better, and you tend to go to people with these, I find, only go to um, campsites. Yeah. Where are we at, mate? Yeah, just on the 27k for this one. Tailgates, low mileage, 11,000 11, miles. Um, it's got the camera, it's got the heated seats. I think it's a good price. How much do you think it, of an investment you'd be putting into the build? Anywhere between 10 and... 12 and there's labor cost involved in there as well that haven't accounted for so yeah you're probably looking at like a 60 70 grand camera probably more so because it's going to be unique as well you know what i mean if it's different doesn't really matter what you've spent on it and what it's got you if you can sell that because it's unique at a higher price then you know it doesn't always come down to material plus labor plus the van there's a little bit of an element of uniqueness in there then then that in itself costs money you know what I mean that, that's the price can go up as well so I just don't like looking <laughs> Ian winning when I'm trying to negotiate with him he's like nah 500 quid knocked off that's it ask for 502 quid lad <laughs> <laughs> say throw that little VW thing in there but I'll have it and you've got your 500 quid on that I'll have it 500 quid can you throw that little camper van in for us with it? Happy? Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Bought the first one I saw. <laughs> Time is money, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's a good van though. Right, so this is the van we've decided to go with. 20, just under 27k. 11,000 miles on the clock. It's got parking sensors, front and back, reverse camera, heated seats, good spec, low mileage, exactly what we were looking for. Short wheelbase as well. So yeah, we're gonna do a, a proper job on this and as well, the color, exactly the color I wanted. So a little bit similar to our brand colors. Looking forward to seeing how this one turns out. Right, so obviously we've got the van. It's not actually coming to us until the end of the week. So we've got a few days here. 
the lads have got a few little jobs to do around the workshop before it arrives and for me personally i've got to sort of get my head into the planning stages of it now so we're just discussing a few things colors layouts some little unique features that we might add into it and uh, yeah hopefully by the time the van lands with us we'll have enough gear about us we'll have the the whole thing planned out so we can get stuck straight into it thanks very much for watching our video right through to the end don't forget to chime in with your thoughts in the comments below subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything what's going on here at camper camper and we will see you in the next video